Welcome back to the Armchair Meddler, where I review news videos, usually of a sensational nature, and I give you my opinion, even though you didn't ask for my opinion. That's what makes me the Armchair Meddler. So, let's see here. We are going to take a look at a video. Let's see. Kind of crazy. Uh, let's see here. California lawmakers seek to ban police dogs from biting and... Okay, California lawmakers seek to ban police dogs from biting suspects. Okay, so, uh, yeah, don't want the bad guys to be bitten by police dogs. Okay, so, once again, I have not watched this video. I don't know what they're going to say. I will be watching it for the first time with you. Before we get started, please give the thumbs up. Also, please subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Let's not delay. Let's get into this video. For crowd control, lawmakers in Sacramento have introduced legislation that would ban police from using canine officers to apprehend people and for controlling crowds. KTV's Evan Zernofsky has been investigating police canine use in California for the past year. He joins us now with more on this proposed law. Evan. That's right, Julie. For the last year, we've been looking into controversial police dog bite cases in the Bay Area and discovered there's no regulation in California around how canines are used. Now, in what appears to be the first bill of its kind, some lawmakers are proposing banning apprehension canines altogether in the state. We're trying to make sure that people are not harmed and seriously injured by using canines. California Assembly... Okay, so it's interesting that this guy says this. So are they also trying to make sure that officers aren't harmed? Because the thing is, is that the canine, uh, oftentimes the suspect is warned, you know, to surrender or the canine will be sent in. And many suspects will surrender because they don't want to get bit by that canine. So, yeah, if you take away the canine, it just makes it more dangerous uh, for officers. Remember, Corey Jackson introduced AB 742 Monday that seeks to ban apprehension canines in California. Many of these bites can create lifelong injuries. So let's make this clear. Lifelong injuries before you're proven guilty. The bill is co-sponsored by the state chapter of the NAACP and the ACLU, who say police dogs have a troubling history in America. Police canines remain a gross misuse of force, victimizing black and brown people, Disproportion. Okay, so, uh, okay, so you, you could say that you want to ban police cars because uh, they've affected minority groups disproportionately, you know, picking them up and putting them in the back of police cars or, or in pursuits. Or you could say you want to ban the horses because uh, those have been used uh, to, you know, chase after black people, maybe during slavery in this country. So there's a history of that too. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is, wow. I can't believe this. KTVU has been investigating California's use of police canines for the last year after exposing several troubling cases in the Bay Area. We found there are no statewide training standards or requirements for how police departments can use dogs leading some agencies to liberally use canines, while others rarely deploy them. This is an opportunity for us. It's an opportunity for us to continue to bring humanity to our criminal justice system. But some experts in police dog training and tactics say the legislation would have profound consequences. And to me, it's a knee-jerk reaction. Bob Eden is a retired police canine handler in Canada who trains and consults with law enforcement agencies all over North America. A lot of times we're dealing with violent people that won't um, uh, submit otherwise uh, or wouldn't be captured otherwise. He said police dogs often de-escalate situations before they're ever deployed. The number of dogs that are on the street reduced the number of assaults on officers and the number of officer-involved shootings, which ultimately would also probably save the life of a number of suspects that otherwise would have been on the receiving end of gunfire. Now, this bill would not prevent police from using dogs to sniff out bombs or narcotics or other practices that don't involve biting people. Mike, Julie? 
Yeah, I just I just see uh, things becoming even more dangerous uh, for the officers if they take away these canines. There are just so many suspects who surrender because they don't want to be bitten by that canine. So, so yeah, it's, yeah. And then situations where a, a person flees, a dangerous felon uh, flees, suspect flees. And uh, yeah, the canine is able to, to chase them down easily. Like I said, you're just going to put officers in more harm. There's situations where a suspect maybe has had a knife or some sort of weapon in his hand, a club, whatever it is. And they send in the canine, and the canine handles that situation. So if you take that away, like the one expert was saying in this video, you're going to have more officer involved shooting. You're going to have more injuries to officers, in fact. So Evan, what are the chances of this bill passing? Drew, it's very early on, but we know that law enforcement groups and police unions have a lot of juice in the Capitol. So as this goes through committee, we'll see how it turns out. But again, it's going to be up to these lawmakers to gain support with their colleagues to see if this gets watered down and eventually or, or makes it to the governor's desk in its current state. All right, Evan Cernowski reporting live for us tonight. Evan, thanks. Okay, so yeah, uh, touching on what that, what that uh, reporter said, it's California, so <laughs> I just have a feeling that unfortunately this thing is going to pass because... Uh, that's the sort of thing that California likes. That's the sort of thing that California does. So, so yeah, they are uh, very concerned, apparently, about uh, criminals. But, yeah, a lot of these people uh, who were bitten by these canines, it's not just people walking down the street minding their own business. You know, these canines are used to apprehend a lot of dangerous people, people with warrants and that are felons, that sort of thing. So they're not using the canines for like jaywalkers or for, you know, people with traffic citations. So I don't know. This is just so bizarre, but of course it's California. So what do you expect? All right. So that's going to wrap up this episode of the Armchair Meddler. Once again, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Also give that thumbs up and we hope to see you on the next episode.